G'day. This project is going to be the New Zealand Wood Pigeon, or Kereru. The Kereru was also voted New Zealand's Bird of the Year 2018. It's a very attractive bird with its blue-green, pink iridescence contrasting starkly with its white breast. And in preparation I've done a bit of research about size and shape. Um, I've created a pattern which I'm going to transfer to the wood. This um, is a relaxed pose. Um, and I've put some uh, feather grouping um, eye position for future reference. And the wood I'm going to use has been donated, kindly donated to me by a local farmer. Uh, it came from his shearing shed for him when he was repair repairing it. Um, I think it was a pile, so it's quite a large. So for such a large bird, this is um, perfect. And I just it's got a bit of rot. I'm going to have to uh, process it and work around that and get a nice carvable piece of timber out of it. So that's where we'll start. As you can see, quite a big uh, portion of this block of wood is rotten. But I'm hoping to salvage this end and get something quite useful. It's too big for my bandsaw, so I'm going to have to use um, a multitude of saws, power saws and hand saws, I think. Um, and I hope to get a nice piece of timber to carve. This bit of footage had atrocious wind noise and um, annoying uh, two-stroke motorcycles in the background. But I'm starting this cutting with a circular saw. Uh, cut as, off as little rotten as possible to try and get the maximum amount of nice wood. Um, it's always a bit of a mystery when you start cutting into this wood. A bit of educated guess from what you can see from the outside, but you never know what's going on the inside of a piece of wood like this. So, find out. So there's the bit, rotten bit cut off, and it's not too bad. It's better than I hoped actually. Still too big for my bandsaw, so I have to cut it down its length. I'm going to cut most of that rot off down the right hand side. I don't think that's any useful. There will be small off cuts that I can use for smaller birds later on. But not too bad, all in all. That was tiring, but I didn't complete it with the saw. You can see the bit of rot in the center. I fin and there's a bit of the offcut. I finished it off the axe. That offcut's going to be useful for smaller birds. I'll get something useful out of that. And that rot, I'm thinking, isn't too deep. So 
pretty good. Right, so here it is, the uh, cutout, um, nice piece of totara, a native New Zealand tree, um, very good for its weathering properties and um, resilience in the ground. Um, that one would have, this piece would have been in the ground for um, 80 odd years or so, I imagine. It was a really old um, shearing shed. A uh, bit of rot in the centre. Um, I'm going to try and cut, put, um, get a couple of birds out of this, and hopefully one of them will um, miss the rot in the round when we carve it in the round um, and have enough solid wood. Um, so that's what I'm going to do now is just trace the uh, outline to cutting on the bandsaw later. Right, there's the piece of wood with the two birds marked out. I'm not sure if it's that easy to see actually. Here's the pattern pattern of this bird and the pattern of this one. They miss each other. I might get two birds out of that. This bit of rot in the centre, because the bird is 3D like a football, I might actually, I'm hoping, will when carving, will actually carve off that rot because it'll be on the top um, left hand corner of the, the block of wood. Um, that is, I'm hoping that there's no deeper rot. I think it's quite shallow, shallow enough anyway. So, nice piece of totara. And just traced around things with the pencil. Um, I mispositioned it here so that I've put an X through to remind myself not to cut and follow that line but to follow this line, the new line. And it's ready to get cut out on the bandsaw. So I'll be right back. Back on the bandsaw. Here are the two birds, and as you can see here, I'll get some light on the subject. That bit of rot is only just in that top corner, and when I carve the bird in the round, that's going to go. But there are a few other problems. There's these deep cracks here that go in the oblique angle, which could be problematic for when I carve the, the head in the centre bit here. Um, I'm going to put this one aside and probably go with this guy. That's as I pinned the profile onto the wood and then cut around it. That's another way rather than just drawing on it. That's the uh, problem here is this hole. So uh, while there's very little r rot that marries up with that other one, um, this rot, this is a bit I couldn't see until I cut into it. Um, so what I'm going to do here is just cut that rot out and use a bit, one of the bits of offcuts that came off and set it in there and glue it in, in the slot that will be apparent there. And then um, I'll let that dry overnight and uh, this is a nice piece of totara barring the little bit of rot um, that will not affect the carving because it, when I carve it in the round. So uh, that's the first order of business. Um, then I'll um, cut, uh, draw sort of like a plan view on the top of this and, and I'll bandsaw off um, that and then I'll get to carving it in the round um, proper.
I'd carve that back and then draw the profile and cut the um, plan view out on the bandsaw. Yes, I lost a bit of footage. Uh, my battery ran out on my camera and corrupted the file. But basically, you didn't miss much. I just took a nice piece of offcut and sized it to the gap, uh, the channel that I'd carved and glued it in overnight. Bit of chip out, but I don't expect that to be a problem. I marked the centre line 